Happy New Year's to everybody. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm back. So as everyone may know, uh, unfortunately, uh, Kobe Bryant was in a helicopter accident yesterday. Well, that motivated me and it's pushing me to just um, start doing what I've always wanted to do, you know, to start vlogging my, my life. Um, most of you don't know, but I was... Um, I was laid off last April. It's almost going to be a year and I've been just grinding, uh, trying to make things happen. I've been um, making shirts, making, you know, making shirts and uh, doing some computer work here and there. And I think that's the type of content that you guys might want to want to see. You know, um, there's some videos that I did record and I just never put them out there just because you know, it could be a little bit of laziness, a little bit of uh, insecurity of, of the content that might be put up in in this channel maybe you guys won't like it but i just decided after uh yesterday's incident <clears throat> just to just to keep pushing forward and do what i love and if i like to do it even if you know the content is not up to par to everyone's standards as long as i think it's correct and it's stuff that i would watch myself then i should keep going for it and that's why i'm doing this video that being said i hope everyone um, has a clear mind and uh, clear goals of what they want to accomplish for the year 2020 especially for me what I want to do is lose some weight I've already lost some weight but I'm I want to lose about 15 more pounds I'm pretty confident that I will accomplish that goal finally here in 2020 it's just lack of motivation I've never pulled through but um, this is the year for me 2020 I also want to make my business grow as far as screen printing and making my own clothing line Quien dijo miedo? What I do have in store for you guys today, <clears throat> sorry, in store for you guys today is I'm making some some shirts for a baseball team, for a little softball team. I'm going to be putting a, a design in the front and I'm also going to be making some sweaters for them. So I'm going to go grab some breakfast and then I'm going to come back home and show you guys the process of how to uh, do some screen printing. Just to keep in mind, I do screen printing, also do um, vinyl work, and I know about computers. So if you guys want to know anything about any of those three topics, feel free to to uh, let me know. If you would want me to make a video on it, how to do it, anything regarding those three topics, and I'll try to answer it my best of my knowledge. If you guys do like these videos, like I said, a vlog, let me know. I want to start recording also me um, through my weight loss journey. So yeah. Stay tuned guys, uh, 2020 should be a very exciting year. And like I said, I'm finally motivated and I'm going to push through this. So over, so over the weekend, I went to a handball tournament in Stockton. It was called the Iceman. They do one every year. I joined four divisions. I decided to wear my Kobe's that I never really worn. I bought them about three years ago. Might have been more and um, I haven't really worn them. They just been in my closet. <clears throat> and this handball tournament is indoors, so I decided to wear them because they won't get uh, messed up. So these are the shoes. They're uh, very nice. I really like them. They were, I forgot how much they were at the time, but they were pretty pricey. And I was waiting for the perfect time to wear them. And the Iceman, this is the color of the theme. Iceman, uh, go figure, blue and white. So I wore them and I did pretty good. I got second place. and. Uh, three of the four divisions I should have won. I was very disappointed that I did not win at least one division. Came up short in every single division. Uh, changa changa. If you guys don't know what that means, it's pretty much point point. That's how close the games were. I was a little disappointed, but on the way back, um, we stopped and we were eating at a Carl's Jr. when Marcos, um, my partner for the B doubles, was showed me his phone and showed me uh, a text or. Show me on his phone that they sent him a message saying that Kobe had passed, um, that he was in a helicopter accident. And I thought it was one of those little hoax, you know, that that people put. And I started looking it up myself. I know uh, TMZ confirmed it. I saw a couple news stations confirmed it, and and that I couldn't believe it. You know, um, he was a big role model to me. I really looked up to to Kobe. Uh, one big reason that i thought it was pretty cool is that we had the same birthday 8 23 august 23rd um so of course he was older than me but we had the same month and date for the birthday so we were both virgos um but that was just something that always caught my attention and these are the 
one of the few shoes that I bought for, from Kobe. I'm not a big shoe guy, but these always caught my attention. Like I said, I just had them sitting in my closet waiting for the perfect time to wear them and I wore them for this tournament. And I think after, and I've decided that I'm not going to wear them anymore. I'm just going to put them away. It's very unfortunate what happened. It's very sad about his daughter, but you know, we only have one option is to keep moving forward. Uh, my condolences to Vanessa and the family. I know I'm not anyone famous, but it's good to mention it anyway. So yeah, that being said, I'm going to go get some breakfast and um, you know, start getting the shirts done and I'll show you guys the process. And like I said, any questions or concerns, let me know. breakfast is tortitas de camarón with no palitos some rice and some beans and then i'm gonna start doing the shirts let's get this going there you go so i guess you could order your special edition for 15 dollars a piece i ordered two of them i know it's um more expensive than uh usual but uh i don't care i want to have a copy for myself and another one just in case so yeah I feel uh, much better that I was able to get my, my hands on one. And now that I've had breakfast, now that I've got my newspaper order, it's time to start the shirts. Just got the the shirts are done. It's 12, uh, 12 shirts, and I did the the sweaters.
I'll do the front tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, concerns, any ideas, let me know. And yeah, I'll start I'll start posting it. I hope you guys enjoyed my work. And um yeah, stay tuned guys. Thank you.